What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness and in today's video I'm going to talk about uh, some mobility work for your shoulders uh, if you have issues with your shoulders, you know, rotator cuff tears this video is actually a continuation of a video a video reply I did for uh, Stephen Ford right? I don't know if you pronounce it Stephen or Stephen but Stephen, this is for you okay, so <clears throat> these are the things now I can't cover everything in this video uh, but later on, as I go, when I go outside later on to walk my dog, okay, I'm going to show you some more exercises that I do with bands, right? It's just that with the bands now, assisted pull-up bands, I can't really show you what I'm going to do because I don't have anything to uh, a pole to attach it to so that I could actually do the exercise because right now I'm in uh, well, the apartment, right? Okay, so the first thing, right? Take a broomstick, hold it out here. And I want you to lift this up and bring this back. Now, the longer it is, the better it is, right? So in this case, this broomstick is a little bit short, but I'll hold it right here at the tips of both hands. And I want to bring this back without, try without trying to arc my back, okay? And I bring it all the way down and back up. Now, you can play around this range here. So it's not about going fast. It's about feeling those little muscles right and working on your mobility so from the side it looks like this so you see I'm not like overly arcing either so I try to keep my back my lower back straight so engage your your glutes squeeze your glutes and suck in your gut do a hollow a hollow is when you when you suck in your gut so this is a hollow so it contracts it uh, it stabilizes your uh, your lower back too at the same time right Kind of like bracing so it's another way to uh, activate the uh, your core muscles either you brace like somebody's gonna punch you or you hollow okay so here this is for your mobility so this is something i do regularly now if you can't go all the way down, it's okay, right? Go back as far as you can and then slowly build into it. Do this every day. You're gonna see how at one point you'll be able to come all the way down. I don't know if you heard that, but it cracked. I got shoulder issues too, uh, Steven. All right, so this is the one of the things you could do. Now, that's for mobility, right? I'm gonna show you some other mobility work that you could do uh, with the bands later on when I get outside. I'll strap it to a tree, I'll film it, I'll show you. Okay, but I don't have anything I can strap onto here that's actually solid enough and uh, I don't wanna break anything. So the other thing is with a dumbbell. This is a 10 pound dumbbell. Now you could do this standing up. You could use lighter weight too, right? It depends on the condition of your shoulder and how strong your rotator cuff muscle is. So if you're here, watch, bring it up all the way down, all the way down, and as far back as you can. And bring it all the way back. Control the movement, right, always, so you're not, it's not about bringing it up fast and then letting it swing down like that. That doesn't make any sense. You're working on your rotator, cu rotator cuff muscles. So you could do it like this, standing up. Or you could do this sitting down, okay? So let me just adjust the camera for you so that well i can show you all right so let me drop this down a little bit hope you guys are all safe by the way at home doing this whole quarantine thing and hey by the way i had a lot of invites i don't know if i already mentioned this but i had a lot of invites to come train and all that you know in the states even some guys told me hey if you're ever down in somewhere uh, you know, like uh, across seas, then, you know, hit us up, hit me up so that, you know, we can train together. And that's in the plans, future plans, right? As soon as I get my part in here, and as soon as I, I generate some money, you know, doing online training and, uh, and hey, even YouTube too, hopefully eventually it, 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 it gets big enough for me to actually make some money, you know, ads or whatever. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm still learning this as I go right uh but then yeah definitely i'll be traveling to see you guys 
you know, we'll all hook up, we'll train here, we'll train there, we'll make videos about it. It's gonna be a good time, man. So, oh, and if ever you guys are in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, okay, after this thing blows over, please hit me up. We'll go train together, we'll go to the gym, we'll go, we'll go, we'll do club hopping. I don't mean clubs as in dancing, I mean clubs as in judo clubs, jiu jitsu clubs, you know, all kinds of clubs, like MMA clubs. Have some fun, you know? All right, so here, what I want you to do is watch. You sit in this configuration here, okay? So I'm here, one knee is down, one knee is up, and watch. Put my elbow here, resting, and it's the same movement, right? But at this angle. And then from there, you could also, well, actually, this is the main one. I'm just gonna show you what I do. There's a lot of ways you can do this, but you can hit different angles. So by different angle, I mean, you're doing it here. You could do it a little bit closer. You could do it, actually, I forgot. Never mind. just stick to this one. But essentially, you're gonna feel it, okay? This is for your rotator cuff muscles. So, do a couple of sets of that every day, work your way up. And now, here's the thing with the rotator cuff muscles. They're usually very, very, very weak in pretty much everybody, okay? Because it's, it's such a neglected, small little muscle, small group of little muscles that are very neglected. But think of it this way, it's like, if you work on your rotator cuff muscles, it's like tightening the screw in the back of your shoulder. So the more you tighten it up, okay, like the more bulletproof your shoulders are gonna be. So the first thing I showed you with the broom, that was for mobility, okay? And then here, this movement here, or even to the side, if you're like this, and the resistance is pulling on my arm towards that direction, and I bring it out like that, okay? This is for my rotator cuff muscles. So you could have it at this angle, you could have it at this angle, or you could have it like I had it where I was sitting down and I'm like this, and I'm bringing it up, right? So these muscles are very weak muscles in most people. Super important if you wanna uh, keep your uh, shoulders stable and avoid injuries. And now I'm gonna show you one more thing, okay? So it's a combination of things, man. You need to work on your mobility, the mobility of your shoulders, but you need to strengthen the rotator cuff muscles and pretty much everything in back, your scap muscles, your rhomboids, your traps, your lower traps and all that, so that it brings everything back and down. Back and down, right? So let me just adjust this one second here. So that's the thing. So you don't want your shoulders to be like this. One mistake that a lot of guys make, okay, is that they wanna build big traps, right? So they're, they're constantly doing shrugs and shit. But the problem when you have overdeveloped shrugs, right, relative to the rest, the bottom of the other muscle, like uh, the bottom of the rhomboids and the bottom of the traps, right, is that you bring your shoulders up like this. Now, any, any of you guys who do grappling know that if I want to pop somebody's shoulder out, right, I get them like this. I get them elevated, bent, and I bring it this way. Boom! You know, shoulders unstable, in a very unstable position, position if you bring it up like this and you go like that this is very unstable so if you have overdeveloped traps and you're like this okay and then the muscles underneath this in the back all right they're gonna be these are overdeveloped and those are gonna be underdeveloped so the, the balance isn't there you actually want your shoulders back back and back and down so watch you don't want it to be you don't want to be walking around like this you want this to be, and you don't want it forward, and you don't want it up. If you're up and forward, well, guess what? Not good. Not good for your shoulders, right? So what you want is, you want this, first of all, if they're back and down, right? So I'll show you some more exercises when I get outside, when I get a, uh, uh, I'm, in, I'm on a tree, so I can actually attach my bands. I'll show you what I do for the mobility, but I'm going to show you something that you could do right, to push your, your shoulder back into the socket and move it into the socket, right? Move it into the socket like this. So you move external rotation 
inward rotation, but right now there's no pressure. How do I have pressure? Well, there's two ways. You could either use a dumbbell or kettlebell while you're lying down, right, and do it. So I'm gonna show you that one quick, quick, but if you don't, I have another solution that I came up with, which I think is uh, ingenious, but uh, for you, for up to you guys to judge. So let me just grab this 10 pound weight. Obviously, well not obviously, but you would have to grab something heavier than this uh, to the effects of 50, 60 pounds, right? And then what you do is you lie on the ground, okay, here, and you bring up the weight. And now you press it up, elevate your glutes so that your shoulders touch the ground. And this weight is not heavy right now, but if the weight was heavy, let's say I'm holding 60 pounds here, it's pretty goddamn unstable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to my elbow, right, and then watch. I'm gonna rotate, externally rotate, and then you can drop your, your glutes after that, making sure that your back, you have a little arch in your back and your shoulders are nice and flat on the ground, and you turn it, right? So you externally rotate towards the outside and internally rotate. So what this does is that, and I didn't come up with this, this was uh, in the book, uh, The Supple Leopard, and I use it pretty often, because my shoulders get pulled on a lot when I do judo and it, it hurts afterwards. So this one here, I'm telling you guys, instant relief, man, instant relief. So now, of course, if you don't have anything heavy enough, a, a dumbbell that's heavy enough, to put that pressure, downward pressure, and then so you could turn, you could do this rotation thing here. Because remember, your shoulder is a ball, it's a ball, it's a, it's a ball and joint socket, right? It's a ball and it's in the socket. You want to push that back in, right and turn it around make it move in in its its full range of motion inside the socket right that's what happens a lot with shoulder injuries man it's because rotator cuff muscles are are weak relative to the rest of the shoulder and the rest of everything that's in the back right all the traps the, the rhomboids and all that right okay so and also when you so what happens is that we tend to always push and if you're doing crazy sports contact sports well especially judo like wow you're falling you're posting it's like it's you know it's, it's all over the place you're being pulled on you're being flipped and that's why we all have shoulder issues okay so i'm gonna turn the camera here one second one day guys i'll have somebody film me all the time so that i don't have to do this but meanwhile bear with me okay so if i don't have a weight what am i gonna do well, that's pretty easy. If you have a couch, okay, you're good. Okay, couch or a bench or, or whatever. Now you're gonna need a hardwood floor and you're gonna need a glove. You guys see where I'm going now, right? Because instead of being lying on my back, I'm gonna put my knees on the couch. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust this so you guys can see it. My face is gonna disappear for a second. Okay, well, there you go. So watch, my knees on the couch here. And now what I'm gonna do is, there's a reason why I have this glove and I have a hardwood floor, it's so I could turn. So what you do here is you do the same thing. So you're here, and of course you can adjust the pressure by adjusting the position of your body, right? And watch, as soon as I take this hand off, I grab on to my elbow here to spot myself. And now, you see, I could go into it towards the ground or I could go up a little bit. Of course, make sure you don't fall. Play around with it, adjust your, your angles, your position, go deep into it, sink in, move. And so you see my hand here is going towards the outside. Got them pillow, okay. And then towards the inside. And all this while I'm obviously holding on to my elbow here so I could actually support myself. And you can put as much weight as you want because the more, well, you don't want to be up like this, but you can put enough pressure, that's for sure, right? And it's gonna help you push that shoulder back into its socket 
move in, move in the socket in its full range of motion because you need internal, you need external and internal rotation. But for most of us grapplers, you guys need more, we need more external rotation because we internal, we tend to be already pretty strong because we're always pushing, we're pushing, you know? And you know, even when you guys go to the gym, like they do push-ups all, all goddamn day, right? So here, yes, you do need this, but you need more external, less internal, but you still gotta do both. So you have to have mobility, right? So if you wanna, a couple of ways that you could check your mobility, let me just adjust this again. Okay, so watch. These are basic positions that you should be able to get into, right? When it comes to shoulder. So you have to be able to put your hands up like this. And this is how it looks from the side. You have to be able to come down here, okay? You have to be able to have your shoulders up here, okay? So if you can, if you can only move, get your shoulders up to here, well, there's a problem. Remember, my thumbs have to be pointed backwards, so back. And I have to come without arcing my back too much, so I'm not like, I'm not like this. I'm not like, I'm not like here and then trying to get it back. I have to be straight. So hollow, suck in your belly button, and you have to be able to bring this back, okay? So another thing, so those are the positions. So you have to be able to, first of all, get into this position here, right? Shoulders back, so I want my arms to be covering my ears, or even more back if you have better mobility. Mind you, my mobility isn't perfect, right? Because I have messed up shoulders. But here's the rule of thumb, if you can, your arm covers your ears, you're okay. If you could get back even more, right? While keeping your head straight, not by having your head like this, but keeping a good posture and covering up your ears or even exposing them, you're good without arcing your back too much. So you can't be like this, right? And then from here, you have to be able to drop it down to the side here. If you're stuck here, you have mobility issues because look, you're like this. You're, you're, you're in a kyphotic position, so you're rounded. So you don't wanna be like this. You wanna be able to get to here, okay? And then from here, well, you have to be able to get into this position. You have to be able to get into this position too. This is actually hard for me, right? So if you're like here and you can't, can't get this back, right? Then you have issues. I have issues. I can't, you know, it's not perfect. It's better on this side, much better on my left side than on my right side. So you're here. You're here, you're here, and of course you have to be able to do this, right? Some people can't. So those are the basic positions. Now I didn't make that up. I got that from the book, uh, The Supple Leopard, right? By um, uh, Kelly Starrett. So PhD, CrossFitter, helped a lot of athletes, pro athletes, MMA dudes, uh, you know, all kinds. So. I base a lot of my mobility stuff off him and I'm still learning as I go along because it's important. So those are the, those are the things that I want to show you in this video. Okay, I hope that guys help, helps you guys out. I'll show you some other stuff that I do once I get outside to the branch. I'll make another video uh, either today or tomorrow, right? I know this video was supposed to be out yesterday, but I, I kind of got a little bit busy and got lazy there. So sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, well, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, comment below. What do you guys think? What do you guys do for your mobility, right? I, I mean, it's super important, shoulder health and all. And um, of course, sharing is caring. Uh, click on the notification bell to, to get noticed when I make videos. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.